Showtime, showtime. Least we not forget what it is we're actually accomplishing here with this series of videos. What, what, what's the outcome? I hope we have not lost track of what the outcome is. And this right here, back in play, that's on the end, is the last few months of production. It's a late model of back in play. They are different. It has the it has the mark embossed in the housing here, and it has the two pins in here, which would use this set of points only. This is the only set of points that will fit on this engine, and they just go on them two pins right there. You wonder why am I why did I bring this example out when this if we had this we wouldn't need to be uh, knowing how to adjust them we're stuck with this with this type or this type see this will not go on there because of the pin only one set of points will go on here the the set of the backing plate that is drilled for the pins is the only one will fit on this it's fact remove the pins and then any any points that you have will fit here and this right here was a clue this miss probably mr. Maytag left this as a clue it's it's basically if you look at this ignition and timing positioning oh oh at least we not forget the, the, the what what the what we're going to accomplish here is only the only thing that we're accomplishing is that the rotation of the parts in the flywheel clears the rotation and path the solid path and the rotating path that they don't come in contact with each other that's that's basically what we're accomplishment once you accomplish that then along that arc along that circle you can position this point blade here at any position along that circle so you can go from let's say the 20 degrees before top dead center then Basically, you could just go on around by rotating this, and you could get 20 degrees past top dead center. As long as you, that's 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 the that's the only caution that you have to keep in mind when you're uh, imagining what's happening inside this back and plate. But this is the clue right here. I, 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 we have actually looked at this uh, uh, maybe three different occasions. This right here. We have, we have brought that to attention. This right here, this is homework stuff. But we're, what we're going to do, I'm going to change the backing plates. And on with this one, the Simpson tool method is as follows. If, they, if you have this type backing plate that has the round standoffs, the Simpson tool design was you set the points for the factory setting to set this type points with this backing plate here. If this in here is just the disassembled so that we might be able to see it a little better but you would loosely install your points this part this part here or all together you loosely like that with the Simpson tool the way that tool work and this is a great design right here there is a it's a large number of Maytags that is running out there in, in Radio Land right now that has had their points set with this tool. This is an original one, unmodified, as shipped. That's an original Simpson tool. It would fit. You, you aligned it. It's got a little shoe in there, and you align it with this toe right there right there and then you tighten up that little screw on the back and plate on the back back there when you t snug that up it holds it in place it's a really really neat design a lot of work involved in it okay now now your points is free at this time down here and all you would do is just gently position 
this line right here and this line right here you just gently line that up and you tighten that up and you tighten this thing right here tighten her up tight okay now you can remove this tool and and and, and now you when you assemble these points then it will maintain that setting you can disassemble your points without main, uh, moving the static positioning. The only thing about this method here is um, that just positions everything. It does not give you any leeway as to adjusting the timing before or after dead center. And that's the, that's the reason for this whole set of videos is so you can make that timing adjustment to correspond with the RPM of the engine. It, to run your engine slow, just a real, real slow running engine, then you need to adjust your timing closer to top dead center, but not to the point where that you are firing the engine uh, after the exhaust exhaust stroke and you have some overlap, then it will cause uh, excessive heating and run hot. So you don't want to reach that point, but you want to reach that point where that it's um, it's corresponding to the RPM. That's just basic it is. But you, you see that, well, we're done with this. That's good to go. Now, we will... Uh, we we should we would be amiss if we did not discuss this tool here. Okay, I'm going to loosen this back up. I'm going to set it free. Set it free. Okay, see it's free. Now the the, the problem is is you don't know where to put that at. That's that's the question out there, radio land, and that's what I'm going to show you is where to put that at. Just get your pencil ready. Uh, but before we get that position. This thing right here is available out there in engine land. Is now this is free, and the angle that this tool was machined at, and you hold it right in there and line everything up. Okay, when you come up to this position, well, well there's not enough play in that hole in there to actually make it fit the tool. It, it you you cannot make this backing plate fit that particular tool it's off just a little bit uh, you either you either uh, put it there or you put it here so you got that much play this is not a very good tool I'm just saying it's not a very good tool but it does get okay now now what you would do is you would line that up and then you would tighten up your screws if this was a good tool if it was this was just a bad job on this tool you wouldn't know that if you if that's the only one you had but anyway then you would remove this and and you they're set but actually it's this is not a very good way to do it and that's the reason that we're going to adjust this without any tools or jigs or anything and mr maytag left he told us how to do that that's the that's the verification of the whole thing uh, once we get it set there, then you will understand why I would say that Mr. Maytag left us with that information.